Now is not the best time to buy a new car if you can even find one. It's all because of a global supply chain shortage. In this Price of Paradise report, ABC Action News reporter Mason Morrow goes in depth to show us how the shortage affects everyone from dealers to drivers. Alex Combs jumps behind the wheel of his new orange Jeep Wrangler. New to him, anyway. The market lately? I didn't know that it was uh, so out the roof. <sighs> A new 2022 vehicle is hard to come by these days. The short supply of microchips used in the manufacturing of motor vehicles is hamstringing car companies. Auto analytics company Cox Automotive projects 13 million new vehicle sales recorded in the U.S. last month, nearly 3 million less than November of 2020. Never seen anything like it. Less turnover on car lots affects used car salesperson Brian Dreggers in more ways than one. Dreggers sells second-hand vehicles at his Pinellas Park dealership. Fewer new vehicles in the pipeline means fewer vehicles on his lot. We're always low. I mean, if you look out on the lot, you see we have probably about 15 cars on hand right now. We usually have about 25, 30. Dreggers and other used car dealers rely on auctions from new car dealers for their vehicle inventory. But now the big guys are keeping valuable used vehicles for themselves. Everybody's just keeping holding any good cars they get a hold of. Lou Talercio has less than half his stock on the showroom floor at his Ybor City dealership. The selection's just not there. Now his preferred way of business is directly with the car owner. Private sellers seek a place like us to sell their cars. And for good reason. According to Cox Automotive's Mannheim Index, the price of used car vehicles jumped nearly 45% last month from November 2020. They're getting money they, uh, they never dreamt of getting for their cars. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you know, we, we have to pass that pricing along to our retail pricing. Something Dragers tells every buyer that walks onto his lot or rolls up to his door with their own vehicle to sell. Dragers paid $500 over market value for Combs' 2011 Mazda for the five-month search for his dream Jeep. Eventually, I just came across this one. Could finally end. I, I, I was lucky. I'm in-depth reporter Mason Morrow, ABC Action News.